Now let's take a closer look at the NQ States VI. I'll draw your attention to the lower right corner. We see NQ States appearing right here. It accepts a task, which is an array of states. And it also accepts a reference to the state queue, which was defined earlier by initialize queue. A task is a custom type definition, which in turn is an array of states, which are also originally a custom type definition. Let me double click and queue states and then take a closer look at its block diagram. All right, let's begin with the air cluster. This controls a two sub diagram case structure. If air condition exists, we simply pass through with no change to anything. However, if there is no air condition, then we begin by taking the incoming task and appending the single state QSM schedule. That guarantees that we always return to the scheduler after the task is complete. Build array had the concatenate option set, by the way. Next, I'm using a for loop with auto indexed tunnel on the input, and that will then step through and retrieve each individual state from the task. These individual states are fed to NQ element. NQ element is run repeatedly by this for loop and the for loop will stop early if an air condition is ever detected on the air cluster. This behavior can be defined this way. Right click on the for loop frame and choose conditional terminal. Once the for loop completes execution, the VI concludes by passing out the air cluster as well as a reference to the state queue.